Confidence is something that isn't gained overnight. It's not from just one action that you make. Confidence is built from within. It's something that a person themselves has to gain. Confidence is also very fragile. It's something that can take years to build up, but a single event could shatter that beyond repair. Having confidence in yourself can take you to new heights. And that is exactly what Deke Mitchell is feeling. He feels the most confidence he has ever felt, and he is showing that on the field. Being a junior at Kansas and a Heisman winner with a ton of great hardware, it begs the question, will he be back next year or is he going pro? Welcome to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk football radio. We got head coach Slacker Gaming. Coach, Deke is looking really confident out there running for more than 150 yards in every game this season so far. Is that a confidence that he built this year, or did he have that thing last year? Well, I think that the confidence you're talking about is the confidence that he has in his team. Uh, last year, he came out and, and only really, I mean, he had good confidence last year and, and played his heart out and tried to be the best, and then he won the Heisman, so that kind of solidified him as the best in the game. So this year he, he chose to come back and a few of his teammates did as well. And it was for his teammates. And I think he, he has the most confidence in his teammates. Coach first big 12 game this season and going up against Baylor, a team that has upset your team before. And they were only your only loss last year. And that was kind of the reason you didn't make it to the national championship game. So what has to be done today to make sure that that doesn't happen again this year? Well, any team we, we play in the Big 12 always has a chance of beating us. So there isn't a team in the NCAA that is unstoppable or unbeatable. And so it's up to our coaching staff and our players to come up with a good game plan and then execute that game plan. And if we do that, I feel like, you know, we're going to win today. Welcome in to 688 The Bull. We got Kansas Jayhawk football coming your way soon against the Baylor Bears, a team that last year was Kansas's only loss. We'll see if they can get the job done today. Kansas comes in at number two, three and zero on the season. Baylor coming in at two and two on the season so far. First Big Twelve game for both teams. Second and ten. Robinson back in shotgun. It's going to get the snap. He's going to roll to the right. He's going to throw to his tight end Lawrence. And Lawrence, a huge one-handed catch. Third and four on the same drive. Robinson going to throw the left side to Gray. Gray's got some space up the middle for 19 yards and a first down. Kozar in. That usually means option. He is an option. He decides to keep it. He's going to finally get down after a first down. Robinson going to hand this one off to Mitchell up the middle. And Mitchell right up the middle. Not even touched. 11 yards and a touchdown for Mitchell. A huge, huge season for him so far. Third and 11. Baylor back. Johnson in shotgun. He's going to get it. He's got plenty of time. He finds Miller on the right side for a first down and more. Finally pushed out after 16 yards and a first down for Miller. Co Robinson in. Takes a snap. Second and 10. Looking, looking. He's going to decides to run this on the right side. Finally gets down after a first down. Third and 10. Kansas. Going to throw it to Chase on the right side for a first down. 14 yards for Chase. Kansas moving the ball right down the field. Third and inches. Miller Mitchell going to get this one up the middle and another touchdown for Deke Mitchell. This time a four-yard rushing touchdown for him. Kansas going up 14-0. Third and seven. Robinson changing the play. And shotgun, he looks. He's going to throw to his buddy Chase. And Chase having a good day so far. First and 10, Robinson back. Going to throw the screen pass to Mills. You see this ran with Kozar sometimes. This time only seven yards on the catch. Second and three. Robinson going to probably hand this one off to Mitchell. We know Mitchell's big here. And there he is. Right up the middle. And there he goes. Another 15 yards for Deke Mitchell. Having himself a day already. Third and six. Robinson back and shotgun. He gets the snap. He's going to decide to take this on the right side. He dives to the end zone, and he's in. Ten-yard rushing touchdown run for Reggie Robinson. Rarely see him run 
But today he seems to be a little more moving. Baylor third and four. Johnson is going to get sacked by the delayed blitz as the linebacker goes, comes up and makes a sack and Baylor going to have to kick it back to Kansas. Robinson first and 10 is going to scramble to the right. Looking, looking. Throws to his tight end. It's going to be intercepted by Pullum. Pullum read the route and an interception by Baylor. Baylor needed a big play there to put them in a good situation on offense and they get just that. First and 10 after the interception. Johnson back and shotgun. He throws to the left and it's going to be caught by Sutherland and that's going to be a Baylor touchdown. Baylor finally on the scoreboard. Seven, Kansas 21. Baylor needed that turnover to help them get down the field. They have struggled against this Kansas defense so far today, but that time with the interception gets them a touchdown. Second and 10, Robinson back. He's going to throw the left side. It's going to be caught by Chase. Chase, 19 yards and a first down. Chase already four receptions, 65 yards on the day. We're not even to halftime yet. First and 10, Robinson hands it off to Mitchell, and Mitchell goes up the middle, and another big first down for him, 15 yards. He's already closing in on that 100-yard mark. Not even to halftime yet. Robinson back, going to take it on first and 10. He's going to scramble to the right like always. Throws it to Lawrence. Lawrence open. He's going to get 19 yards on the catch. Lawrence kind of always his guy he goes to when he needs something. And on it, and he was wide open and gets the first down. Second and goal. About a minute left. Mitchell going to get this one up the middle. And boom, number three rushing touchdown for Mitchell. Make it the score 28-7. Johnson back in shotgun. He's going to get sacked by Bix. It's going to be a huge sack. Second and 18. Kansas taking the timeout. Second and 18. Johnson going to throw the left side and incomplete. And just like that, Kansas in a position to get the ball back before halftime. Third and 18. It's going to be a run by Miller and nothing going there. Gets eight yards, but not a first down. And they're going to have to kick to Kansas. Kansas comes down and scores 35-7 to on a two-yard rush. And just like that, Kansas going in to the locker room up 35-7. Coming out of the locker room, Baylor got the ball first. Johnson going to throw this to the right side to Miller, and Miller's going to get a first down, about 13 yards on that catch. Baylor in hurry-up offense. First and 10, Johnson decided again he's going to run this one himself, making a couple guys miss, and up the middle after 19 yards, finally brought down a huge run by their quarterback, Johnson. Third and seven, Johnson back. Going to throw to the right side to Brown. It's going to get knocked out. A huge hit by Goes, making a big play there, knocking it out, and they're going to be stuck at a fourth and seven. This Kansas defense stopping Baylor, it seems like, all day. Their only score from an interception from the offense of Kansas. So we'll have to see what they decide to do. Fourth and seven, they're going to kick the field goal. It's going to be about a 50-some yarder, and he's going to miss it. Not going to be long enough and far to the left. Kansas hooked up with good field position. Fourth and six for Robinson. They decide to go for it. Throw up the middle to Chase, and Chase is wide open over the safeties. 35 yards on that huge gain by Chase. Third and goal. Mills going to get the handoff here, and he's going to get pushed in. And Mills got himself a rushing touchdown as well. Kansas taking a 42-7 lead here in the third quarter. Third and three for Baylor. 4.15 left to go. It's going to be a fake handoff. Johnson's going to keep this himself. He's going to get out of a tackle. He's got the right side up the right side. 40, 35, 30. Finally pushed out after 38 yards. And Baylor going to have to settle on fourth and one for the field goal. It is up and it is good. So Baylor 10, Kansas 42. Huge field goal for Baylor there. Not able to get many touchdowns in this game. Second and 10, Kozar on the option. He's going to keep this one up the middle again. He's going to go for the end zone and down at the one-yard line after a 20-yard rush. That's going to set Kansas up at first and goal. On first and goal, Robinson back in the quarterback. He's going to hand this one off to Mitchell, and Mitchell in for another touchdown. Keep adding to his record. Second and six, Baylor Johnson changing the play at the line. He's going to throw to the right side. It's going to be intercepted by Darnell Rogers. 
Not sure how he came up and made that. Did he get at least one foot in bounds? Let's look at the replay. Yes, he does. So Kansas with an interception there for Baylor. Kansas already in a good position on offense. First and 10, Robinson's going to throw this to the end zone. It's going to be intercepted by Cook. So an interception by Baylor is turned into an interception by Kansas. And back and forth we go. Defense is doing their jobs right now. 658, Baylor running down the field. Got a good drive going here, first and 10. Going to be a screen to Miller on the right side. Miller's got plenty of room. 25-20, finally brought down after 24 yards on the screen play by Miller. First and 10 for Baylor in the red zone. They're going to throw it to Van up the middle, and Van's going to get a big catch there in a bunch of yards, 14 yards for Van. Third and goal for a Baylor. Johnson back and shotgun. He's going to throw it over the middle. It's going to be caught by Powell in the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor, 17-49 your score. Robinson back, first and 10. He's going to throw to the right side. It's going to be caught by Mitchell. Mitchell making a bunch of guys miss. Finally brought down after 22 yards. And a beautiful job by Mitchell to bail out his quarterback. Kind of just threw that one up. Reggie Robinson did. Mitchell able to get up and grab it and gain a few yards as well. Second and eight, 125 left to go on the clock. Mitchell going to get this handoff up the middle. He's going to make a couple guys miss going for the end zone. Going to be down at the one-yard line. Mitchell already four touchdowns in the game, and we're going to make it five here as he jumps into the end zone. Deke Mitchell, five touchdowns today. Kansas 56, Baylor 17. That'll be your final here from Kansas. Deke Mitchell, player of the game, 31 carries, 183 yards, five touchdowns and 22 reception yards for the Heisman winner last year. Looking like he's going to win another Heisman this year, but so far, Kansas playing very, very well, winning this one 56-17. Welcome back to 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio. We got Coach in the studio. Coach, Deke had another 150-yard performance, and this time he added five rushing touchdowns to his stat sheet. What's the difference about him this year? I think he, he really wants not only to get another Heisman, but to win that national championship. And I've, I've said it before and of his teammates and stuff, and he and his teammates came back just to win that national title. And I think he's going out and proving just that and that he wants that national title. Baylor only had 162 passing yards, and most of that was in the fourth quarter when the game was out of reach. What is different about your defense this year in the passing game? We really focused more in the offseason to get them ready for these types of air raid offenses that we see in the Big 12. And although we are we are playing well against them right now, it takes us playing great on defense every week to continue to win in the Big 12. Every team in the Big 12 can beat one another. So we need to take this win and move on to the next one against Texas Tech. Thank you so much, Coach. This is 688 The Bull, Kansas Jayhawk Football Radio. Your number two Kansas Jayhawks win today in Lawrence, 56-17 against Baylor, improving to 4-0 on this season. And next week we play the Texas Tech Red Raiders, so another shootout type of game for Kansas. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button and comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see going forward. We got some pretty good episodes coming up soon, so make sure you hit that red subscribe button and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see in future episodes. Till next time, Slacker out.